So let's run through some problems about multiplicative inverses and using them to solve equations and when they exist and when they don't exist. Very similar to some problems in the start of the uh, exercises for 8.3. So we're in mod 15 for this whole problem. And the first thing is we'd like to find the multiplicative inverse of 13, or 13 bar if you want to be say the, say the bar out loud, in z mod 15, if it exists. Okay. Now there's one situation where the if it exists is really easy to determine that's if we're in a prime mod. That's one of the big theorems here. So if we're in a prime mod, everything except zero is going to have a multiplicative inverse. It's a really, really nice fact. But we're not in a prime mod. Okay. Now there is a refinement of that fact that I'll mention in a minute. But let's just go ahead and, and see what happens if we just tried with the definition. Okay. Um, and let me go ahead and just paste that in. What is the definition? We're trying to find some mystery x such that 13 times x equals 1. That's what it means to be a multiplicative inverse. And of course, it means mod 15. And I'm going to go back to the ordinary integers. I'm going to translate that into a statement about ordinary integers. We're trying to transition more and more and more to working entirely within the mod world because it's more powerful, more sophisticated, and leads to some of the great stuff about encryption, for example. But when we have to, when we're stuck, we can go back to ordinary integers. This is what it means for. Um, 13 times x to be congruent to 1 mod 15. There's some y that makes this work. Oh, hey, we move everything on one side. That is our friend, a linear Diophantine equation. We know how to solve those, and we know when they solve. In particular, 13 and 15 are relatively prime, so there is guaranteed to be a solution. Aha, and that's a general fact. It's one of the theorems that when the number you're trying to invert and the mod are relatively prime, you will be able to invert it, because it really always comes down to solving this kind of equation. OK, so now, how do you actually solve it? Well, if the mods are pretty big, if the numbers are pretty big, you want to use the royal road, the Euclidean algorithm method. Here, it's not too hard to just do a little guess and check. When you get up to x equals 7, that is 1 more than 90, uh, which is 15 times 6. OK, now we're going to throw away the y. We often do. That had to exist for this to work, but we're not actually going to pay attention to it. And then we just say that the inverse of 13 mod 15 is 7. OK, so we're going to use that in a minute, in a, a problem in a second. But let's do a contrasting thing. OK, so yeah, so we've got, this is really referred to that refinement of the theorem that I mentioned. When these two numbers are relatively prime, you will get a multiplicative inverse. Well, what if they're not relatively prime? OK, well, what would this story look like if you put a 6 in here instead of the 13? That's a problem. 6 and 15 are not relatively prime to each other. And that means this is going to have that common factor of 3. There's no way that can be 1. That's what we'd have to do to find a multiplicative inverse. It's not going to happen. Okay, So does not exist. Okay, So really, the yes or no questions, does this exist or not, are really cut and dried and are really good places to go back to the theorems in the section about how the number you're trying to invert relates to the mod. It's really, if they're relatively prime, it's going to work. If not, it won't work. That's, it's that simple. OK. So what could we use this for? Well, many things. But um, oops, didn't need to do that twice. OK. So how could we use this to solve this equation? OK. Well, let's just go ahead and try to solve it that displayed in the way we ordinarily would. And this is the payoff. We get to stay entirely in the mod world now. OK, so 13x is going to be minus 3. I'll put the bar on there to be careful, to emphasize we're really staying entirely in the mod world. Now, I could simplify that. Um, you know, I'm going to choose not to simplify that. We could definitely choose change that to a 12 if we wanted to, but there's no great need. Okay. Now I'm going to multiply both sides. Let's take that equation. I'm going to multiply both sides by 7. Bar. Ooh, whoops. I didn't mean to be inside the bar already. Okay. So 7 bar times 13 is 7 bar times minus 3. It's not, it's not subtraction. It's times minus 3. OK. Well, on the right-hand side, it's going to be 21 
I'll put the bar on. And on the left hand side, the whole point is that 7 bar times 13 bar is just 1, and that just gives you x. Okay. It, we're essentially dividing both sides of the equation by 13. And dividing is the tricky operation in mods, but if you're dividing by something that's relatively prime to the mod and you know how to express division as multiplying by the reciprocal, so you have to know the reciprocal, then it really does work. Okay, So the only thing is we haven't reduced that, but that's okay because now we can reduce that at the end. Ooh, minus 21. Ooh, yeah, you should have. You should have spoken up. Minus 21. OK. Now we have to reduce that, but that's equivalent to 9 um, mod 15. And we're done.